Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1711, the London premiere of Rinaldo by George Friedrich Handel is this evening. It is the first Italian opera written specifically for the London stage. In 1742, Charles VII becomes Holy Roman Emperor. In 1803, today is the first time the U.S. Supreme Court rules a law unconstitutional. In 1807, 17 die and 15 are wounded in a crush to witness the executions of Holloway, Hegarty, and Elizabeth Godfrey in England. In 1809, London's Drury Lane Theatre burns to the ground. I hope the Muffin Man was okay. In 1821, the Plan of Iguala is signed today stating that Mexico will become a constitutional monarchy, that Roman Catholicism will be the official religion, and that Peninsulares and Creoles will have equal rights. In 1831, per the Indian Removal Act and the Treaty of Dancing Rabbit Creek, the Choctaws in Mississippi cede their ancestral land in exchange for payment and land in the West. In 1835, the Malay Revolt occurs in Brazil, which is instrumental in ending slavery there 50 years later. Also in 1835, the Shawnee Sun becomes the first Indian language monthly magazine. In 1836, American painter Winslow Homer was born in Boston. In 1839, the steam shovel is patented by William Otis in Philadelphia. In 1848, King Louis Philippe of France abdicates the throne. In 1855, the U.S. Court of Claims is created to hear cases against the government. In 1857, the University of Calcutta is formally founded as the first full university in South Asia. Also in 1857, the first perforated U.S. postage stamps are distributed. In 1862, Bucharest is proclaimed the capital of Romania. In 1863, Arizona is organized as a United States territory. In 1868, U.S. President Andrew Johnson is impeached over his lenient Civil War reconstruction policies. He is later acquitted in the Senate. Also in 1868, the Mardi Gras celebration in Mobile, Alabama is the first U.S. parade with floats. In 1893, the American University is chartered by an act of the U.S. Congress. In 1895, the Cuban War for Independence begins. In 1899, Western Washington University is established. In 1908, the first Boy Scout troop is organized in England by Robert Baden Powell. Also in 1908, the U.S. Supreme Court favors an Oregon law limiting the maximum hours a woman can work. In 1911, Japanese anarchist Susio Kutuku is hanged for treason in a case now considered a miscarriage of justice. In 1916, the U.S. Supreme Court declares the federal income tax constitutional. Darn it! In 1917, the U.S. Ambassador to the United Kingdom is shown the Zimmerman telegram during World War I, in which Germany pledges to return New Mexico, Texas, and Arizona to Mexico if the country declares war on the United States. In 1920, the German Nazi Party is founded. Hitler will take over in a year. In 1924, Mahatma Gandhi is released from jail. In 1933, the 20th Amendment to the United States Constitution is ratified, changing the length of terms for all elected federal offices. In 1938, DuPont begins commercial production of nylon toothbrush bristles. In 1939, the deadliest earthquake in Chilean history strikes, killing approximately 28,000 people. In 1940, today was the first recording of When You Wish Upon a Star. It was by Francis Longford. In 1942, Thailand declares war against the United States and the United Kingdom in World War II. Also in 1942, as a countermeasure to the propaganda of Nazi leaders, The Voice of America made its first broadcast in German today. And in 1942 as well, one of the largest documented UFO sightings in history occurs in Los Angeles, California. The event lasted into the early hours of February 26, 1942, and is referred to as the Battle of Los Angeles. In 1943, Franklin D. Roosevelt and Winston Churchill conclude their Casablanca Conference. 
1952, Canada wins their sixth Olympic ice hockey title after a final round 3-3 tie with the U.S. at the Oslo Winter Games. In 1955, American businessman Steve Jobs is born today. He co-founded Apple and Pixar. Also in 1955, the 12th Golden Globes is this evening. On the waterfront, Marlon Brandau and Judy Garland are big winners. In 1961, a Goldsboro B-52 bomber carrying two H-bombs breaks up in mid-air over North Carolina. The uranium core of one of the weapons remains lost to this day. In 1964, My Heart Skips a Beat by Buck Owens is released. It becomes the Billboard number one single. In 1965, the Beatles begin filming Help in the Bahamas. In 1968, the Tet Offensive is halted in Vietnam. Also in 1968, Gary Unger begins his NHL consecutive game record of 914 games played. In 1972, a Japanese sergeant is found hiding in a Guam jungle, where he had been since the end of World War II without knowing the war was over. In 1977, the 12th Academy of Country Music Awards airs. Mickey Gilley and Crystal Gale win big. In 1980, the United States men's Olympic hockey team complete their miracle on ice by defeating Finland 4-2 to win the gold medal. In 1981, Britain's Prince Charles announces his engagement to Lady Diana Spencer. Also in 1981, Gene Harris is convicted of murdering Scarsdale diet doctor Tarnauer. In 1982, the 24th Grammy Awards airs Kim Carnes' song Betty Davis Eyes and John Lennon's double fantasy album win. In 1983, a special commission of the U.S. Congress releases a report that condemns the practice of Japanese internment during World War II. Also in 1983, the Dow Jones closes above the 1100 mark for the first time. In 1984, the first Apple Macintosh goes on sale. In 1985, Yul Brynner reprises his role in The King and I. In 1987, the LA Lakers center Kareem Abdul-Jabbar scores his 36,000th NBA point. In 1988, the US Supreme Court votes 8-0 that televangelist Jerry Falwell cannot sue for damages over the parody Hustler magazine published of him. In 1989, United Airlines Flight 811 experienced an explosive decompression in mid-air, resulting in the death of nine passengers. Also in 1989, a 150-million-year-old fossil egg found in Utah with a dinosaur embryo inside is the oldest ever found in the Northern Hemisphere. And another in 1989, stalker Margaret Ray is found in David Letterman's home. She claims to be his wife. She is not. In 1991, U.S. ground operations begin in the Persian Gulf War. In 1993, the 35th Grammy Awards air today. Tears in Heaven by Eric Clapton wins. In 1996, Poland's Prime Minister resigns amid charges that he was a Russian spy. Also in 1996, Cuba shoots down two U.S. airplanes. In 1998, Elton John is knighted by Queen Elizabeth II at Buckingham Palace in London. In 1999, in spite of Germany's legal action to try to save him, the state of Arizona executes Karl Legrand, a German national convicted of murder during a botched bank robbery. Also in 1999, the 41st Grammy Awards airs, Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On from Titanic wins. In 2003, the United States Department of Homeland Security officially begins operation. In 2007, Japan launches its fourth spy satellite, increasing its ability to monitor potential threats such as North Korea. Also in 2007, the 27th Golden Razzie Awards gives Basic Instinct 2 the win. In 2008, the 80th Academy Awards air, No Country for Old Men, Daniel Day-Lewis, and Marion Coutelard win. In 2011, today was the final launch of the Space Shuttle Discovery. In 2013, the 85th Academy Awards are today, Argo, Daniel Day-Lewis, and Jennifer Lawrence win. I guess today in history was big for the Oscars. Also in 2013, Raul Castro, Fidel's brother, is elected to a second term as the president of Cuba. And in 2013 as well, 
The 55th Daytona 500 is raced today. Jimmy Johnson wins his second great American race, while Danica Patrick becomes the first female to start from pole position, and her eighth place finish is the best ever by a woman at Daytona. In 2014, the Philippine government and the Bangsamoro people agree to a peace deal that will help end their 45-year conflict. Also in 2014, a 4.4 billion year old crystal is discovered to be the oldest known fragment from the Earth's crust. In 2016, the oldest Muslim graves in Europe are identified at a burial site in Nîmes, France. They date to the 8th century. In 2018, the men's big air snowboarding event makes its Olympic debut at Pyeongchang. Also in 2018, the Czech Republic's Esther Ledecka becomes the first female to win Olympic gold medals in two different sports at a single Winter Games. She won the Super G in skiing, and in snowboarding she won the Parallel Giant Slalom. An amazing performance. In 2019, at least 133 people have died, and 200 more are seriously ill after drinking toxic bootleg alcohol in India. Also in 2019, during a Roman Catholic Church summit on pedophilia, Pope Francis promises more action by the Church and calls those guilty tools of Satan. In 2020, trailblazing American mathematician Katherine Johnson died at age 101. Also in 2020, American film producer Harvey Weinstein was convicted of rape and a criminal sex act. In 2020 as well, Malaysia's 94-year-old Prime Minister resigns, only to be reinstated later in the day as interim Prime Minister until another can be elected. Also in 2020, New York firefighter Daniel Foley, who found his brother's body in the ruins of the World Trade Center, dies of cancer. Again in 2020, a memorial service for NBA star Kobe Bryant is held at the Staples Center in Los Angeles. And also in 2020, this was a busy day that year. As reported in the journal PNAS, scientists identify the first animal that doesn't need oxygen to breathe. It is a tiny parasite living in salmon tissue. And also in 2021, the United Nations-backed COVAX initiative begins delivering vaccines to middle and low-income countries with the first shipment going to Ghana. I hope you're feeling well. I hope you're doing well. I hope you watch more of my videos. There's some right in front of you, and you can even look up more. But I set some out. Go for it.